All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chip. If you haven't been here before, please make sure you subscribe down below. Hit that like button. Today, gonna be working in the garage on changing some teeth on my stump grinder. I got the new, well, they're new to me. They are Green Teeth, the 700 series, and we're gonna throw them on this stump grinder so I can get back out and do some more jobs. Yeah, if you haven't seen it before, this is my rebuilt Vermeer 222. Uh, it has a Briggs & Stratton Vanguard 35 horsepower engine that we repowered this with. Um, this thing's a beast. It's done some really good work, but the teeth I have on it are these just regular finger teeth, which have been doing pretty good, but I just need a little bit better cutting surface. So I've switched to the green teeth and I'm going to install those today. All right, so these are the green teeth that are gonna go on the stump grinder. I'm doing four angles and two straights and that should help the cutting surface. Uh, I just have these in a baggie right now. This is gonna be my spare box for the, uh, the truck. But yeah, get these bad boys on here, get the old ones off. So got all the teeth off, I'm actually going to clean off the wheel with a wire wheel and just so I can prep it for the new teeth.
Alright guys, it's day two back in the garage. A uh, little problem we ran into um, after putting all of these teeth on is that the teeth are set at different depths. Uh, I didn't know that and it didn't come with anything saying that they would be. Uh, I also noticed that the wheel itself, the pocket holes for the main bolts are at different distances from the edge of the wheel. So I'm gonna measure those and get all these uh, teeth back off. Thank God I didn't put them all on, but I'm gonna get them all back off and measure the distance between the hole and the outer edge of the wheel to figure out where we're gonna put these. Um, also, all right, so th we're looking at the distance on these on this wheel. Um, I didn't realize when I was putting all these teeth on and right here this is your locking pin point on the uh, on the wheel but right here I can already see it so we have some holes that are closer to the outside of the diameter of the wheel some that are set back in closer out set back in closer out so the good mm, it's a good thing and a bad thing I think because I don't have the right set of teeth to actually all right so that is 17 millimeters this is 32, um, 17, 18, yeah, 32. All right, so it's, it's an offset, so you have some that are further in, some that are further out. We also have... We also have um, teeth that seem like they're either further out or further in um, as well. So, hmm. All right, I'm just gonna have to figure it out. All right, so some of these teeth are sets and sets of one, and some are in sets of two. Um, I'm really not sure what the one and two, I don't know if it's a, a set point, I don't know if it's an angle, I don't know if it's anything, it might not be anything at all, and hopefully it's nothing at all, because I really don't want to order more teeth, or more pockets. Alright, so those look the same. The problem is, I only have a progression of ones and twos. One, two, three, one, two. All right, so what we've discerned is I ordered the wrong set. I ordered a 252 instead of a 222. Uh, the head only has six pockets, and the six pockets are offset. But what we're gonna do is the offsets 
kind of going to work in our advantage. Uh, so I'm going to put the two straights directly across from each other. Um, and then the angles are going to go in the other pockets. And we'll see how it cuts. If, we still have, if I still have problems with it after that, then I'll order another set of the straights. So I'll run three straights and three angles. All right, let's get to it.